mission of the soup kitchen in a, as a, is to help empower people as fully as we can, particularly with the children. We're trying to like stir their imagination and build up their creativity and deepen their critical thinking process. But the foundation of all we do is to help them respect each other, help them be peacemakers, help them resolve things in a more peaceful way. There's a lot of violence on the east side of Detroit, and we're doing everything we can to help them see other ways of handling conflict. My main responsibilities at the Soup Kitchen are to direct the children in the Rosa Parks Children and Youth Program, and that includes many things, mostly art, creativity, art therapy, because we believe that the arts can play such a role in discouraging violence and giving the participants, you know, like a safe place to express their feelings. We also have a really fine tutoring program. We have a boys group, a girls group. We do a, a, a lot of seasonal activities, and we also do a big summer camp. Name first started this idea, and Holly, I think, too, of, of ways that, that people at Wayne State could be connecting with the larger community. And it's just amazing the arts that are really available in Detroit from Heidelberg Children's Hospital, Mariners Inn, the Capuchin Soup Kitchen, Rosa Parks program, that, that there's a lot of us that are in different ways are using the arts for healing for communication, for self-esteem, for, for all kinds of efforts of proclaiming peace and kindness to other people. I got involved in the art as a social practice class because I wanted to do art in the community setting. Uh, I am a big supporter of public art and public art projects and I think one great way of reaching people with art who may never go to the Detroit Institute of Arts or the Charles Wright Museum of African American History is to bring it to the streets. And by creating art in community, then we are able to empower people. Volunteers are just a great blessing. Once in a while I get one who's high maintenance, but most of the time they're just a very great blessing. And uh, they bring a freshness, they bring new energy, they bring different talents and skills that I couldn't do or that my own volunteers perhaps don't have. And it's amazing also how much they're able to form a rather quick alliance with the participants of our program. Here at the Rosa Parks, uh, children and youth program, I have primarily worked with clay and sculpture. It's allowed me an opportunity to work with young people. Children uh, basically between the ages of 8 to 15 and in working with these children I've been able to use art as a medium of expression whereby the children are able to tap into creative resources, sometimes that many did not realize they even possessed. I start each session that I uh, work with the children with uh, self-affirmation. I am special! I am unique! I can make a difference! And the purpose of that self affirmation is for empowerment, to empower the youth with a sense of purpose, self, and direction. Once we start, the children keep coming, keep coming, and the parents keep getting more and more involved. We've also joined a, a large youth network so that our youth are connecting with other youth in Detroit, trying to make an impact on the city. One of the best parts is we try to really promote an appreciation of diversity and I think that's one of the beautiful parts of the program, people tell me anyway, that you know we have city and suburb, black and white, old and young, all coming together for the sake of the children 
and the children are exposed to just a wide range of people. I would highly recommend this class because the class has so much to offer for an emerging artist or someone who just is interested in knowing more about the arts and art in the community and how art can help to transform communities with creative uh, placemaking ideas and designs and activities. To come into a situation like this and have an opportunity to work unhampered, unsupervised, and to start to employ the various techniques and processes and skills that you've learned at the Academy, it further empowers you. Because the more we do it, the more it becomes a part of our language. I've been honored to have been in this uh, situation with the children here at the Rosa Parks uh, Children and Youth Program, and I only hope that they have been as inspired through these activities as I have. I leave here with a desire, a further desire to continue to empower and help to transform communities by touching lives. I'm just so proud to be part of that kind of a collaborative effort, part of a team. And uh, I've learned so much from it myself, you know, of, of the value of what they do at Wayne State, what they're doing at Mariner's Inn, what they're doing at Heidelberg Project. And uh, I'm just really proud to be part of that.